I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. What is up you guys? It's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my sweatshirt collection and telling you where I buy them and where I find them. I don't think that I realized how large my sweatshirt collection really was until I sat down to film this video and I don't think I could have picked a worse day to film it. It is currently 111 degrees outside. I don't think I could have picked a worse day to film this. Um, anyways, without rambling on too much, I guess let's jump right into the video. So I broke up into categories crewnecks, hoodies, and zip ups. I didn't even pull all of my sweatshirts out. I only pulled the ones that I actually wear, which is still an excessive amount. Okay, starting with the first crew neck, it's this burgundy red-ish oversized crew neck from Urban. Ooh, something went wrong. Try again in a few seconds. Like I was saying, it's this oversized burgundy crew neck from Urban. You guys will definitely notice a trend when I show you guys all my sweatshirts. I love oversized hoodies and sweatshirts and this is one of them. It's so soft on the inside. I definitely recommend checking out Urban for crewnecks and sweatshirts. Even though they are a little bit on the pricier side, they are really good quality and if you're gonna wear them a lot, it's definitely worth your money. I think I'll stick with the Urban Outfitters trend. The next two were in my last haul video if you guys watched that. If not, go watch it. Um, it's this skateboarding skeleton crew neck. It's kind of like a nudish tan sand color with um, black skeletons skateboarding on the front and on the back. I got this one in a large extra large. The other one is either a small medium or one size. I'm not really sure. But yeah, as I said, I love oversized crew necks and this one is really cute and looks really good with biker shorts. The next one that I have was also in my last haul video. It's this sublime tie-dye green crew neck. Um, yeah, not much to say about this. This one is probably the largest of the three and it's a small medium. Um, but yeah, it's really cute, really soft, really comfortable. Like I said, definitely recommend checking out Urban if you're looking for good sweatshirts. The next one that I have is actually from Depop. I will leave the girl that I bought it from in the description box and on the screen as well. But I got this tie-dye blue crew neck. I know you guys are going to say, Taylor, why didn't you just tie-dye it yourself? Because knowing me, I will most likely mess it up. And I'd much rather spend, I think this was like $30. I'd much rather spend $30 on a good tie-dye crew neck than go out and buy all the stuff and mess it up. So yeah, this is in a size large and it's the brand Gildan. And it's this really nice blue tie-dye crew neck. Okay, the next crew neck that I have is a cropped one. I actually thrifted this crew neck and then cropped it myself. It's a champion burgundy, kind of like a speckled peppered kind of look, but it's really nice quality. And I used to wear the heck of, out of this last winter um, with like leggings and jeans. And I got it for like, I don't know, $3, $2 at the thrift store. So definitely check out thrift stores for good crew necks. The next one that I have is actually out of my mom's closet. Check out your parents' closets because they might have some nice like vintage crew necks. But this is San Diego's um, Riptide Brewery and it's a size extra large. It's this red crew neck, super worn in, super nice, super comfortable. And I love worn in crew necks and that's why I definitely recommend um, thrift stores and also just like raiding your parents closet. Moving on, the next and last crew neck I believe that I have is from Brandy and it's just the little California bear on one side. 
yeah, California bear. And it's like this seafoam green color. I think that's the best way to describe it. And this is one size, if you guys know Brandy. It's all one size, but I really like this one. It's not oversized, but it's still cute. Moving on to hoodies. Some of these might be really wrinkly because I keep some of them in my drawer and I keep some of them hung up on the back of my door. So the first one that I have is actually from H&M in the men's section. I highly recommend checking that out because I believe I got this one for like $17 and it's the perfect amount of oversized. On the front it says Chicago and on the back it says common districts and it just has like a list of common districts I guess. It's really cute. Again, it's that like sandy tan color and it's so soft on the inside. H&M has really nice quality hoodies and definitely check out the men's section. The next hoodie that I have is that same color. I believe this one is from Forever 21 Men's. Yes, it's Forever 21 Men's in a size medium and it's the perfect amount of oversized. I used to wear this one all the time with my green leggings because this color looks so good with like an army dark forest green. Yeah, like I said, check the men's section, H&M and Forever 21. I believe I got this one for like $12. So definitely good price for the quality. The next hoodie that I have is an anti-social social club hoodie. I did not buy this from the actual website. I bought this on Mercari used for I think like $60 but it's just the white one with black lettering. I have worn this one to death. There's a lot of like pilling going on, but I believe this is a size medium. I really wish it was larger though, because it's kind of that like awkward fit where it's not oversized, but it's not tight. The next hoodie that I have is probably one of my favorite hoodies out of all of them. And it's from Brandy and it's the Hell the Hellraiser hoodie. I absolutely love this one. I used to wear this one all the time to just throw on if I was going to the store or something, but literally love this one so much. And the last hoodie that I have is actually my boyfriend's hoodie, but it's mine now. So it's this gray Nike hoodie. It's super, super simple. This is literally the only thing on it, but I literally love this hoodie so much and then he's worn it in. So it's that perfect worn in feel and it's so soft. And the last category that I have is zip ups. The first two zip ups I have are the same hoodie in two different colors and they're both from Brandy. I don't remember the name of these. I think they're the Christy hoodie. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure they're the Christie hoodie. And they're just the cropped um, zip up sweatshirts. I have it in white and I also have it in black. And I also have a gray one. I just can't find it right now, but I also have a gray one. I used to wear these literally every single day. I'm not even kidding. They're just so perfect to throw on, but now I'm more into the oversized sweatshirts like you'll see the next three. And the next three are the same hoodie, again, in three different colors. They, These I believe are the Carla hoodie. Again, don't quote me on that, but they're also from Brandy. And if you watched my last two haul videos, you would have seen all three of these. The first one that I have is in this blue color. The second one is white and the third one is black. These are super perfect to just throw on over an outfit if you're going out in the mornings when it's cold or it'll be perfect in the winter time to wear with like leggings and a little crop top and throw this on for warmth. Like I said, where I live, it doesn't really get that cold so I won't be freezing my butt off but these will be perfect to keep me the perfect amount of warm during the fall and winter time. So that is all of the sweatshirts that I have to show you guys. Again, this is not all of my sweatshirts. These are just the ones that I have worn the most. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe down below if you guys aren't already and click that notification bell to be notified when I post my next video. And I guess I will see you guys in my next one.